All right, what's up, everybody? We're here with a reaction video to the latest single from August D, also known as Sugar, from BTS. And for once, I'm not reacting on my own this time. I have Michelle with me here, even though she's all shy, shy, and she's hiding in the corner. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Out there. Yeah. It's not a single, by the way. It's a free mixtape. It's on SoundCloud <sighs> and Spotify for free. You see, this is this is why she's like prime army in the whole in the whole thing, and I'm just. I'm just a glory hunter. That, that's all I'm here for. I'm just here for the clout. You know what but I mean? Since yes, a music video, I guess, is a single. I guess. Well, yeah, technically it should be. Yeah. Anyways, that's not what people want to see. <laughs> let's uh, let's dive into it. We're going to play the song right now. We're going to listen to it, give it a go, and then we're going to give you our reactions. And uh, yeah, are we ready? Yep. Are we ready to do this? Yep. All right, let's do this. And three, two, one. Has it got this like Mongolian feel? Well, Chinese. No, Korean, obviously. Korean. Like. I should. Random Mercedes out of nowhere. <laughs> I guess you could say we're in the interlude right now.
wow okay um i'm just gonna let that wash over me for a couple of seconds <laughs> because that was oh wow i wow i i really like that that was it started off super aggressive and just did not let up the whole way through mm -hmm. yeah this really dirty like kick and bass line you know that was underpinning the whole thing and then sugar was just like spitting fire the whole way through um okay your first thoughts my first thoughts uh is it's a very angry track mm -hmm. but not as dark as the single i guess from his first mixtape Oh yeah, in, that one. In this case, he's it's a lot more confident. A more, there's a tone of mockery. Yeah. In his in the lyrics, as yeah. well. Yeah. He he was. It felt like he was referencing somebody in particular. He, it felt like he was calling out a lot of the industry haters. Yeah. And their peers. Hmm. And it was you know calling them weak and everything, calling mm -hmm. them pill poppers, <laughs> whatever that means, you know. And uh, it was. Yeah, it sounds it's it 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 wasn't like I think like the first mixtape, the first single from the first mixtape. He mm. he was, it was angry but also really depressing. Yeah, and like you know, all, you know, it was, just sounds like a lot of self harm was going on with mm. that one, but this one it's like it's angry but it's projected outwards instead of inwards, and, right? It gives me the same feeling as Ugg from mm. the albums. Uh, yeah, Metal of the Soul Seven. Yeah, and it's like. Yeah, it's got that same undercurrent of like, uh, sort of like contempt. I think is that the right word? Like the sort of like contempt for, for people who dare to you know hate on them for whatever reason and whatnot, right? And it's just, but it, it's 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 amazing to see though, like you know, sugar and full flow, like mm. being this this angry, this angrily confident, this confidently angry. I, I feel like I need to rewatch that because I don't think I caught all of the lyrics. Uh, well, I had the subs on, so I'm I'm good. But like you know what. Um, like, you know, yeah, let's just give it one more listen. Let's just go one more time. Uh, it's also good to see that even in their past life, Jungkook mm. and Jin are still fighting with each other <laughs> in the <laughs> background. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's, let's just give this one more go. We're going to give it one more try. And then after that, we're going to we're gonna edit this bit out, right, from the video mm. where we, we give it one more listen. Okay, let's just, let's just give it one more try and then let's see what we get. Okay, so we've had a second viewing now, and a few other things spring to mind. One is the uh, one is the uh, you know the, the the mixing of you know traditional modern like trap beats right with the aggressive mm -hmm. bass line and all that together mm -hmm. with like uh, what sounds like more traditional in instruments, which but is actually uh, what the title is referencing. Uh, referencing because the chita mm -hmm. is literally. Great blowing and heating, which is a genre of Korean traditional music consisting of military music played by wind and percussion instruments, generally performed while marching. Okay. Mm. All right. Cool. Um, another another thing to file under hashtag today. I learned. <laughs> um, the other, of course, is you know the, the, I I don't know if you caught it, but there were like subtle whispers that were like playing throughout the song, and then those whispers got a little bit louder towards the end when, when Sugar has that moment where he sort of uh, looks like he faces this, this um, you know Goryeo Dynasty version of himself, and mm -hmm. then like, like shoots it presumably. Mm -hmm. um, so like I think there's there's a lot there's a lot going on here that we all that we probably don't understand. <laughs> and there's like so much symbolism the of, of of the of ancient Korea, the modern yeah exactly and the symbolism yeah. of him shooting himself. Yeah, I think it's version of him it's funny because like i think in 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 korean society i think there is a discussion about you know how much of the tradition do they keep how much do they you know how much do they want in the new modern korea there's like a battle for the soul of the country between the youth and the elders you know mm -hmm. and it's like and much like every other country on earth you know and it seems like there's there's a little bit of that thrown in here with the subtle nods where you see you know the temples and whatnot right mm -hmm. and then you suddenly have a car out of nowhere mm. and then you have the traditional like um you know uh, uh, the traditional uh, dress and everything but then you have those very modern looking pennants yeah you know that kind of decoration that's strewn across so it's like this this very weird hybrid of like old and new and 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 sort of like suggesting that there's you know that there's a there's a lot of tension going on there 
Also, it could be in reference to how since BTS got really popular globally and and successful, that some people called them sellouts and uh, forgetting their roots. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, because what they're singing more in English now, and <laughs> <laughs> you know they uh, and stuff like that. They do they whenever their their concert tours happen. Uh, you know, people look at the international dates more than the than the Korean dates. Yeah, but when you look at their music, like for example, Idol, mm-hmm. and then there's Erg, and then there's that uh, free song Tang. Mm-hmm. They're unabashedly Korean. Yeah. That's I think that's what some people really really forget about them that they're still you know a Korean group first and foremost before they're anything else right. Mm. And what about the lyrics though? I mean yeah we we spoke right. just now in the first segment where he sounds confidently angry or angrily confident. And I yeah. felt that there was a lot of lines directly um, that was meant for certain people, mm-hmm. but I can't recall off the top of my head. But there was one line about the talent show bit, mm. right? I. I don't know if it's in reference to the Show Me The Money rap yeah. variety show okay. because the BTS members have been mocked for not having gone on the show like saying, oh, you're not real rappers because you don't have the talent, you're not good enough for the show. Mm-hmm. Something like that. But um, there, there's also the opinion that that show itself, um, how do I say? Uh? Okay. Yeah, go on. It's not really <laughs> authentic. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, that that's a fair opinion to have. Right, there's, uh, there have been accusations of uh, cultural appropriation on that show um, and how non-black mm-hmm. people throw the N-word around mm-hmm. and then there are some people defending that by saying, oh, you know, they're in Asia, they, they don't know how it is in the States. But there was recently a show where one contestant said mm-hmm. the N-word yeah. in full yeah. and they did this whole dramatic zoom in and cuts okay. where clearly everyone knows that's a word that you should not say yeah exactly so, yeah you know like karen yeah, you can't say karen these has, days it's a, <laughs> a whole other topic la. it is it is okay so yeah back to the music video uh back to the song itself if we're going to give it a rating five out of five how do you feel about that mm, i will give five out of five as well hmm but I think I need to listen to it a bit more. Oh, it's the kind of song yeah. you need to listen to over and over again. But only in a certain mood though, because I think after a while the the anger will get to you. It's like it's 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 a very angry song and it might not stand up to repeated listening, such as say his his the last solo work that we know of him, which was uh, Shadow, the, the mm. you know, interlude Shadow. And um yeah, it is it, it's it's one thing seeing sugar, angry sugar in full flow. I mean that's that's a sight that everybody should experience at least once, I feel. Mm. Alright, so let's wrap this up, put a bow tie on it because bow ties are cool. Um yeah, I guess we're looking forward to the rest of the album then. Yeah, yeah, i I'll are we gonna do a live listen? No, right? No, no, not on this. No, no, no. Uh, we'll we'll uh you know, this is just for the music video. So that the should be enough. The funny thing is that um, after the mixtape drop, right? Mm-hmm. Sugar went on YouTube live to do a live stream of himself painting. So it's like he just dropped a mixtape to burn down the entire music industry. Yeah. Then he went back to doing a Bob Ross tutorial. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's the uh, that's the funny thing about Sugar. He's such a such a complex fellow, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. And we could we could we could wax lyrical and and philosophize and and speculate all day what his true intentions are, but ultimately I think he's in an he's in a confident place and that can only mean good things for BTS. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's it from us, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.